checking them. So check it out now. Uh, now I ain't gonna lie, man. This is about to be a bullshit ass story I'm about to report on. But you know what, man? My journalistic responsibilities or lack thereof requires me to actually report on it. Now, Birdman is officially denying that the conversation that he had with the guy who's accused of shooting up Lil Wayne's tour bus was about him shooting up Lil Wayne's tour bus, okay? According to uh, TMZ saying, uh, Birdman and sources close to Birdman saying, man, listen, that conversation y'all keep playing all over the internet where I'm talking to, to Pee Wee or Roscoe Pee Wee, whatever his name is, and I'm saying, bro, come get your money. I wasn't talking about the shooting at all. In fact, I don't even think that nigga did a shooting, period. Now, let's be frank. Who the fuck is just going to come out and say, yes, I was talking to the nigga about shooting up the nigga's bus. That's basically self-snitching, okay? So whether he did it or whether Birdman was having a conversation with him about the shooting and about him come getting the money for the shooting, that's something that you'll never get a confession from unless he's an idiot. But I will say this. It got to be somehow mediated with Lil Wayne because Lil Wayne is the one who calls this man Pappy, okay? He's the one who's kissed him in the mouth. And if that's the nigga who may have tried to get you killed, that's a problem. Now, as far as this guy, I ain't saying this nigga the shooter, but God damn it, man, the evidence that the police got was surely enough that he took a plea. Now, he said he couldn't have got a lawyer. And by the way, he did contest that he felt like the DA and the police forced him to take a plea. And they actually accepted that to say, yo, you know what? You were going to throw your case back to the courts. But they're saying that the car he had matched with the car called on surveillance stay fleeing the scene. They're saying that basically Thug called him, Birdman called him. And they're saying everything matched up geographically with where he was at and where the bus was at. Now, we ain't gonna say the nigga guilty, but God damn it, man. There's a lot of evidence against this motherfucker, okay? So, I just have to say, if I'm Lil Wayne at all, I'm gonna look at you funny, Birdman, even if that conversation wasn't about that. If he did do it or he knew who did it, if you stand close or you're cool with him, that's a problem. However, I ain't Wayne, and I ain't never called a nigga daddy. That wasn't my daddy, and I ain't never kissed a nigga in the mouth. So, I don't understand how Wayne lets that rock, but it's up to him, and we'll see if him and Birdman will ever rekindle that friendship or love. I don't know what it was um, between them like they once had, or if they'll do business ever again in the future. Okay, what y'all think, man? Could you be cool with a nigga who was cool with the other nigga who may have shot at your bus? You let me know, man. Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like. Let me subscribe to what Jackie Dummies. I'm a